Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated. That is R-D-K-L-I-N-C.com, where, where you can click on the answers button and have your hardware-related repair questions answered for free by me. Uh, you can also click on the contact tab and uh, submit a quote request for your broken MacBook, and I will buy your broken MacBook from you and send you a UPS label so you can ship it to be free of charge. So. Anyway, uh, that's the website. This video is about target mode, FireWire target mode. Uh, this is a mode that Apple computers have, or most of them anyway, that basically turns your computer into an external hard drive. You know, we're all familiar with these things, these external hard drives that have a cable and you plug them into your computer and then they pop up on the screen and you can move files around, that sort of thing. Well, what, what uh, target mode does is it basically dumbs down your computer to the point where it's just, you know, it's, it's hard drive on a cable. Uh, this is a FireWire cable, a FireWire 400 cable it goes into the computer. I've got uh, the other end of the cable plugged into this iBook G4. So I will power this computer on, hold down the T key, T for target. We'll wait for the target mode symbol to come up. Takes just a second while you're holding down the T key. There it is. Uh, once you see this, this you know the machine's in target mode. If the symbol does not move, that can indicate a problem. That means that the drive is. Uh, it can mean that the drive is parked and that it's not uh, uh, coming free for visibility. Um, it can. It can mean other things too. Generally, the symbol will move as you see it moving there though. Um, so anyway, you see the drive now on the desktop of the computer it's connected to. You, you know it's, uh, this is the target computer because of the symbol uh, that, that indicates the drive. You then can open up that drive and um, just a brief overview of what you'll see. Generally, you wanna to go to the users folder you find your user account, in this case it's just called Mac user, and then you can go into desktop, whatever's on the desktop of the computer uh, that is in target mode will show here. You can go into documents, what's ever in the documents folder of that computer will show, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, movies, music, you know, the um, iTunes library will generally be in music, that sort of thing. So this is very nice. You can copy the data off of that computer. You can copy data onto that computer, onto its hard drive in this fashion. Uh, another thing that's very uh, useful to do, let me find it here, is to go into Disk Utility. And from Disk Utility, you can actually format the drive of the other computer. Um, as you'll see here in a second, there you go, the hard drive of the iBook G4 back there appeared in this utility. You can tell it's that one because of the target mode symbol, the orange thing. Um, and you can, from here, you can format the, the drive, which is very useful. Uh, let's say you're selling a computer. You don't want to give away your data with the computer. You don't have the reinstall media, say. Well, you can use tar uh, FireWire target mode and uh, wipe out the drive. Um, you can also, Let's see here. So you can go to the Erase tab, and then you can go to Security Options. And from here, you can zero out the data and do uh, much more severe Department of Defense grade uh, hard drive wipes. It takes a long time, granted. Um, you know, prepare to let it sit for hours, but it'll basically write over the drive over and over and over again uh, to the point where you know your hard drive cannot be restored. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, Department of D D Defense grade, which it even says in the description right there. Uh, so this is very useful uh, for wiping out a computer. You don't have to go into the computer and get the hard drive out. You just go in here and wipe it, and then you can sell it or do whatever you want to do with it. Um, just a, a note to electronics recyclers, uh, th this is a way to deal with the hundreds of computers you get. You don't need to uh, destroy those computers. You don't need to open up those old Apple laptops and, uh, uh, you know, pull the drive out or, or, or 
you know, there are machines like this. This is a machine from a recycler. This is what people who don't know what they're doing do to laptops. Um, because electronics recyclers are certified um, in such a way that they are required to delete the data from a machine before they get rid of it. Um, and if they don't know what they're doing and they don't know how to delete the data while preserving the computer, they take a drill and they do this, which is just ridiculous and defeats the entire purpose of being uh, a responsible electronics recycler, in my opinion. So, hey, recyclers, you don't have to do this. You know, in a lot of cases, they even miss the hard drive. They, you know, go through the optical drive or something and they leave the hard drive intact while they destroy the whole computer. But anyway, I can talk all day about that kind of stuff. But hey, recyclers, you can use this. You can use target mode, wipe the drives of all your machines, and uh, you don't have to kill that computer. You don't have to pull the drive even. Um, and if you have shredding software that you like better than, than uh, disk utility, you can use that too. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's that. Um, target mode is limited to FireWire. This is FireWire 400. This is FireWire 800, this sort of squarish connector here. What I have here is a FireWire 800 to 400 converter, as you can see. Um, those are useful with newer computers uh, because, uh, hard to stick it back on there with one hand, a lot of newer computers only have 800, or sadly, a lot of MacBooks only have uh, USB, and you cannot do this sort of thing with uh, USB, unfortunately. Um, so you're limited to machines that do have FireWire. However, there are, um, there is an option that I have not tried yet uh, with the newer operating systems. I don't think, this is Snow Leopard, I don't think Snow Leopard has it. No, Snow Leopard doesn't have it. But I think Mountain Lion, if you go into to the startup disk system preference, um, Mountain Lion does show um, Thunderbolt, the new uh, type of uh, connector, computer connector. It does show that uh, it uses it in the same breath as FireWire. Would you like to boot from your FireWire or uh, Thunderbolt connection? So there is hope that, that Thunderbolt will be the new FireWire. Uh, that would be a very good thing because, uh, you know, FireWire is being sort of phased out. Thunderbolt is the, the new standard, and uh, that would be very nice to preserve um, the target mode concept um, with the newer machines. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I haven't tested it. I don't have enough uh, Thunderbolt machines, and I don't even own a Thunderbolt cable. So it's going to be a while before they're commonplace enough to actually do that. But uh, like I said, there is hope for the future. Um, one thing to keep in mind with target mode, if you cannot get a computer into target mode, if you hold down the T key and the machine just does not go into target mode, it, bo it boots uh, regularly just as, as it normally would, uh, that can mean that you have what's called a PRAM password or an open firmware password. Basically, uh, what that means is the machine is, has been secured with a password such that it cannot go into target mode. The reason someone would not want a machine to go into target mode is that security is uh, bypassed in target mode. You know, this, this, this hard drive here, it may have security that prevents me from getting into these files when I'm booted up to that computer, but in target mode, there is no security. You're not booting from a live machine. You're seeing a machine uh, from a distance. So therefore, you there is no security. So open uh, firmware passwords, uh, PRAM passwords, that 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 prevents a computer from presenting its drive in target mode and thus letting you get at the data. Um, so I'll probably do another video uh, in the future about uh, bypassing a PRAM password. That's mostly in PowerBooks, iBooks, older machines. Uh, in MacBooks, by 2006 when MacBooks came out, people weren't really using uh, PRAM uh, password security. So maybe I'll address that in the future. But uh, anyway, um, hope this was informative. Uh, hope this will uh, prevent you recyclers from destroying computers. 
um, and let you, uh, you know, copy data to your machines, copy data from your machines, uh, wipe your hard drives before you sell them so that you can uh, rest assured, you know, no one's going to find your data, that kind of thing. Hopefully, too, it will keep those darn recyclers from destroying thousands of machines. I see machines like this all the freaking time, and it just eats me up, you know. Beautiful machine, could be sold for $200, and people do this to it. It just never, ah, it drives me nuts. Anyway, go to rdklinc.com slash answers to get your uh, hardware questions answered, and thanks for watching.